Brianna, the number of investigations into allegations of serious police misconduct in Jacksonville has dropped and rather dramatically since the introduction of body worn cameras. The number of complaints that become formal internal affairs investigations has dropped by 61 percent. On your side's Ann Schindler obtained these new figures from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and she joins us live from the newsroom. And what are people saying about this really steep decline? Well, it depends on who you ask. Everyone agrees that the reason for this surprising decline is body cameras, but why exactly the cameras are causing the change, that's a matter of some debate. From rescues to arrests, body cam footage has become the visual standard of police work. It's the old saying, you know, you know you're going to believe your lying eyes because it, you got it on video, it's on camera. First Coast News crime analyst Mark Bachman says cameras have had a profound effect on complaints against officers. Well, I think that that's a contributing factor to the less IA complaints that they have. IA, or internal affairs complaints, are those that could result in suspension, demotion, or termination. According to data from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, the number of complaints reaching that stage has fallen by more than 60%. The body of cameras um, play a part in that because they do exonerate um, police officers from the very beginning. Jacksonville Police Union President Steve Zona says the cameras help expose baseless complaints. I know a lot of people say, well, maybe the body-worn cameras are affecting the officer's behavior. I think the studies have shown that they have a negligent effect on the officer's behavior. Almost a third of complaints from citizens or jail inmates were dismissed last year because of conflicting body camera footage. Bachman agrees that cameras help officers who are wrongly accused, but he says they may also force them to modify their behavior. Are using a little more uh, tact and good demeanor. Community activist Ben Frazier, who is recovering from COVID, sent a statement that said in part, no matter how you crunch the numbers, we cannot trust the integrity of an internal affairs investigation. He continued, the system of investigating police misconduct is broken and we need a citizens review board to fix it. Lieutenant Brad Shivers, who oversees internal affairs, says while they're investigating fewer cases, discipline has actually increased. Because we can actually see the misconduct occurring on camera. So um, we're actually while fewer cases are being investigated, we're handing out more discipline as an agency than we ever have before. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side. Thank you so much. Coming up on First Coast News.